Hey guys, how's it going? It is Robbie with Open World Games, and once again, we're talking about more Watch Dogs. And man, the news is about to really heat up about this game, and then several other Ubisoft titles that I'm extremely excited for. At E3 in June, we're going to be seeing more Far Cry 4, The Division, The Crew, and Assassin's Creed Unity. So look forward to coverage right here on Open World Games, and welcome to anyone that's new. Uh, I welcome you guys to subscribe if you're interested in any of those games, but today we're talking about one of my most anticipated games, Watch Dogs, and I'm doing a breakdown of the entire 101 trailer recently released, so stay tuned for that, but I'm gonna go over the most important details first, so you don't have to stick around for the entire video if you don't have time, because it might be a lengthy video, who knows, we will find out. I wanted to mention you guys have been writing in about your dreams. Literally, you guys have been dreaming about Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed, and I find that hilarious because I have had that happen to me in the past. If you guys have been dreaming about Watch Dogs, please let me know in the comments below. It really shows how excited you guys are for this game. I also wanted to show you guys this. This is really cool. It is the PlayStation Magazine cover for June 2014. They're going to be showing off Watch Dogs, and right here we see Aiden Pierce on a motorcycle looking like an absolute badass as always. And take a look at this, there is a PS4 and Xbox One beta going on. They are preparing the servers for May 27th. I imagine they will see some problems with the online servers for the first week or so. So expect that guys, some wonkiness with the online play. But this is good news, this is a very good sign. They are taking the multiplayer component of Watch Dogs very seriously. And don't forget the new DLC planned for Watch Dogs. Wash dogs. And now we're about to go into the breakdown of the 101 trailer, but first there are two primary things you need to take from this trailer. The first is a little hint, and it is found on this sign. It says, Mayor Rushmore announces CTOS expansion to Windy Hill. This was really hidden in the recent trailer, and I find it interesting because I use the expansion, of course, it may be nothing. It, it might just be part of the city infrastructure expanding into places like Pawnee and Windy Hill. But what do you guys think? Would you like to see an entire expansion pack for Watch Dogs? Of course you would. I know I would. Let me know what you guys want to see as DLC in Watch Dogs. And later on in the video, they show the user interface scrolling through all of the progression for digital trips and the like, and they show a brand new digital trip which we have never seen before. It is going to be called Alone. I have no idea what this is, but it sounds interesting. I can't believe there is yet another side activity in Watch Dogs, and the digital trips are pretty extensive side activities from what we have seen so far. So there's gonna be a ton to do in this game. And now, time for the breakdown of the 101 trailer, and guys, I have watched this over and over again, so enjoy. And yes, the game is rated M for Mature for violence, sexuality, and so much more. And is it Yubi or Ubi? That is the question. And I believe this right here is the torture scene at the beginning of the game, so be prepared, it's going to be pretty gruesome. And here's a look at a brand new supercar. Man, this thing looks sexy. It is taking a stunt jump, which by the way, you will be able to do with your friends online, so that's going to be a ton of fun. But remember, each car handles differently, so from muscle cars to sports cars, to these supercars, they will all have unique handling characteristics. And here it is, the possible DLC I was talking about earlier in the video. This is extremely hidden in the video, and what do you guys think? Do you think this could be DLC, and would you like to see an expansion to Chicago? And no, unfortunately, you will not be able to fly in this game. But guys, this game is going to be more about the ground game, including hacking and really interacting with the citizens of Chicago. Okay. 
And I believe this area right here is going to be called Pawnee. This is where you're going to go with your friends and do a ton of stunt jumps and then also race with them. And I'm just going to pause this right here so you can see this gorgeous scenery. This is amazing. I cannot wait to explore this area especially. It looks like it's a little bit away from the urban jungle that is Chicago. And I do think that this deserves a sad face. No, not a smiley. No. There we go, a sad face. That seems more appropriate. And here we go, this seems to be a hub location in the game. This is gonna be where all of the main characters are going to be hanging out. It may act like the villa from Assassin's Creed 2, which would be awesome. I'm crossing my fingers, guys, that that is exactly what we're looking at here. Chess is a confirmed minigame, and in the foreground, you could see it near this new character that has been recently revealed. I'm thinking that you're going to be playing and practicing chess with this guy right here. So bank account hacks do stack, you can go from one person to the next and then stack the money and then go to the ATM and withdraw it. And trust me, you will be seeing some odd things in this game because you will be able to spy on people in their own homes. Motorcycles are going to play a huge part in this game because you can use them to slip through blockers and get away from the cops. Here's another look at the inside cockpit view. Yes, every single vehicle will have this. I'm not so sure about motorcycles, but I imagine they will. Here is a look at one of the abilities, the blackout. But my question is, what is the point of this during the day? That leads me to think that nighttime will be longer than the daytime. I have to pause it for you guys again because this is one good looking game. Watch Dogs also draws inspiration from one of my all time favorite movies, Heat. And as you can see, that is obviously true because this side activity known as Convoys is reminiscent from the beginning scene in Heat. When hopping online, you will be able to hack the billboards in the city and leave messages for your friends and foes. That is going to be awesome. I can't wait to see you guys troll other players. Meet Jordy Chin, one of my favorite characters from the trailers, and he does not look like he's going to disappoint. He is a fixer, think pop fiction. Yeah. 
weapon attachments will not be in the game, but what you will be able to buy is spec up weapons, versions of vanilla weapons, which will include extended magazines and silencers. There will be drinking minigames in Watch Dogs, so I'm sure T-Bone will show you the ropes. It also appears the Pyro Dragon belongs to T-Bone. As you can see here, his blade does not belong to the Assassin Order or the Templars. It is simply coming from his cane, but the way he held it really did seem like it was an Assassin's Blade. So good job, Yui. You got us on that one. And once again to confirm, online free roam and decryption modes in multiplayer are only on next gen platforms. You will not be able to roam around in free roam online with your friends on Xbox 360 and PS3. So it does appear you will be able to take on an invading player just by shooting him and I'm not too certain if uh, he will get points for just killing you or not. We will wait and find out soon enough. Return the tables with a counter hack. You can also explore your single player world to find online contracts of your own. If you accept, you'll immediately enter another player's game and you can try to hack him before he even knows you're there. In Watch Dogs, multiplayer features blend seamlessly with the single-player experience. Everything and everyone is connected. Recruit fellow hackers and challenge other crews online in game modes like Decryption Combat, where speed and teamwork are required to seize data before the enemy can. Or go head-to-head -head with other crews in Free Roam mode as you battle in the shadows of Chicago's iconic... And many of you were wondering if there was a melee system in online free roam, and yes, it appears it has been confirmed. Here is an awesome feature. This is a mantle kick. This is similar to what was in Gears of War 3. I was not expecting this feature. This is going to be awesome against campers, so if you are in cover and someone is darting towards you, you are going to be in trouble. And the mobile companion app is pretty much self-explanatory. Let's take a listen. Most powerful weapon in and out of the game with the CTOS companion app available on Android and iOS. Through the app, you can hack your friend's console games, creating distractions and triggering the city's hacks. Challenge your console friends to a high-speed race through the streets of Chicago. On CTOS Mobile, you act as the Chicago PD, controlling traffic lights, road blockers, and even a helicopter to interfere with the console player's race through the city. Experience a unique progression with more than 45 upgrades for your police arsenal. I hope you have an invitation or you're dead. I'm the driver. To get around the sprawling metropolis of Chicago, you'll... That is just effing bad ass.
And as you could see, the rumors were in fact true. There are six vehicle classes in the game, including muscle, performance, budget, heavy, motorcycle, sport, and truck, all of which are available in online racing. And each car has their own handling characteristics, so yes, you will be able to find your perfect car. Fixer contracts are going to be provided by our good friend Jordy, and from what I understand, we're going to be getting into these very early in the game. And finally, our first look at online racing. This looks insane. This is one of my most anticipated features, guys. It's going to be eight players with your friends. And there are several ways to get around Chicago, including the L train. You can hop on top of it and hack the actual train, or you could just get in and use it as a fast travel station as well. Here's a cool little feature. You will be able to sort your own playlist and find music from the environment, but I have not heard that you can actually import your own music, so I'm sure you can just find some awesome tunes within the game. And here is a look at many of the side activities and things to do within Chicago besides killing people. And digital trips are going to be those out of the world experiences that will take you away from the serious tone of the story missions. And as I said before, here is a look at the new digital trip alone. We will be finding out more about this May 27th. So guys, there you have it. The breakdown of the brand new trailer. This game is looking awesome. I cannot wait to finally get my hands on it May 27th. Seventh. It is so, so close, guys. Let me know if you are excited about this game. If you are also looking forward to games like Watch Dogs The Division, Far Cry 4, Assassin's Creed Unity, and The Crew, go ahead and subscribe to us on YouTube. That is what we are about. We are open world games. And guys, thank you so much for your immense support. I really, really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time.